everyone. So in my last video I did a watercolor painting and it turned out okay, but I learned that I have a lot to learn about watercolor. It's something that I really need to work on. So in this video, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing another watercolor painting, something very simple, not a lot of detail, and I'm going to be using a watercolor technique that I've heard of from several different places on YouTube and, and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing, so let's do it! Okay, so here it is all finished. I'm going to take the tape off slowly. Okay, that's not coming up. Okay, here it is. Now, I used the wet on wet technique with this pea. So basically I just wet the paper with just water and then I went over it again with more water, obviously with the watercolors. So that was the technique that I used and I did find that it was better one thing that I notice is I am not really letting it dry before I go in with another layer. This did come out okay, but I think if I let it dry in between layers, it would be a lot better. Um, but overall, it is a much better improvement from the other painting that I did. And I think it just did come out a lot better. And I... I have more confidence in actually doing watercolors now, now that I know that I can make something that actually looks actually looks good. So I will definitely be wanting to practice it some more. I also think part of it might be the paper that I'm using. The paper that I that I have been using is just a Hobby Lobby, just this watercolor pad. And one thing that I notice is I used a um, masking fluid on it and like I was doing this just as a test and if you can see like right in here the paper kind of peels up the masking fluid for some reason doesn't work with this and I've seen people use masking fluid on watercolor but for some reason with this paper when you put it on it just like makes it rip and tear I did the same thing with this one um, no, actually, this one I just used markers on. Um, I think I did. I may have had some of the masking fluid on here. I was just trying to see what markers, how markers would work on this paper, if they would work at all. And markers work really well. But, yeah, that's one thing I noticed is masking fluid just doesn't seem to work on this paper. It just, it just doesn't. I don't know if it's just because... Even though this is watercolor, it's just a store brand, you know, because it's just like Hobby Lobby store brand paper, Master's Touch. So maybe it's, um, maybe it's not as good quality. So I will probably next time, because I only have one piece left of this. So when I get, um, more watercolor paper, I'll probably get, like, a better brand and see how that is. So this is the one that I did in the last video, and I do like it. I do still like it, but as you can see, it's very warped. I think one, I didn't have it, I didn't have it taped down. And also, I think as I was doing wet on dry and I was putting a lot more on here, so it just kind of messed it up. It made it warp a lot. But this one, even though it did kind of warp, it dried flatter. And like I said, I think if I had let it dry between layers, it would have been um, even better. But I do like it. I think it came out pretty good and it, it just, like I said, it just gives me confidence in wanting to practice this medium some more. And probably next time, I do, like I said, I do have one more piece of this left. So I'll probably, you know, use that for practice again. But next time I'll get some different paper and see if that makes any changes as well. So I hope that this video was encouraging and helpful, at least to just encourage you to keep trying. Like I'm, you know, keep trying watercolor and trying to get better. Hopefully it encourages you to keep trying, you know, things that you're trying to do and, you know, keep working at it. And, yeah. So, guys, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.